Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Luxury cars are prized possessions and a source of prestige for the rich and the famous. However, given that many of the finest luxury vehicles are manufactured in very few choice locations, delivering them to customers can be very complicated. To buy a Bentley, Rolls-Royce, McLaren, Porsche, or a Maserati, for instance, you often need to go right to the manufacturer or contact them directly. And with the production facilities usually so far overseas, many of these luxury car builders have developed some very ingenious methods of safely transporting these million-dollar cars by air. Whether flying from Europe, Asia, or from within the United States, these incredible air freighting processes guarantee that the car reaches the doorsteps of the buyer, as new as when it left the assembly line. Many of the leading luxury car manufacturers have gone as far as developing customized means of easily air freighting their luxurious products to customers, depots, and showrooms all over the world. For instance, German car maker BMW has a special division assigned specifically for this process. It's known as BMW iNext World Flight, a partnership with German cargo airline Lufthansa Cargo. However, this special VIP treatment isn't just for cars that have already been sold, but also for the exhibition of new models, concept cars, and other specialty vehicles. In this case, the entire interior of the airplane provided by Lufthansa Cargo is transformed into a mobile showroom. From there, the plane and its various showcase cars can be flown to any location all over the world and be displayed to investors, dealership owners, and other buyers. When talking of luxury vehicles traveling in airplanes, Few come close to the United States presidential Cadillac limo, nicknamed the Beast. When the president goes from place to place, he travels in the Air Force One aircraft, but his entire motorcade is often transported in a massive C-17 Globemaster aircraft. This is one of the most popular strategic and tactical airlift planes in America's Air Force arsenal. The C-17 allows for the presidential motorcade, including a second limo and an armored Chevrolet Suburban communications vehicle to be quickly and safely transported. The entire load is then retrieved at the other end of the journey before the president's arrival. Of course, not everyone has the ability to transport their cars by private or commercial aircraft. In such cases, customers may choose to have their cars transported via shipping container. Using sophisticated stacking methods and wooden ramps, shipping companies can fit up to five cars in a single full-size container securing them in place with tie hooks to keep them from moving and getting damaged when subjected to unruly waters. The shipping container solution is ideal for car buyers who are willing to wait a bit longer for their vehicle. When it comes to moving a large number of cars at once, the most logical solution is what's known as a roll-on, roll-off vessel, or RORO ship. These are essentially gigantic floating car parks with multiple levels. It takes teams of over a hundred individuals, all working together to drive the cars from the dock facility into the ship, and then secure them in place for the voyage across the ocean. Once cars arrive at their destination, 
they will be driven off in much the same manner. In places like Europe, with particularly well-established rail systems, the cars go right onto trains for fast transport to other parts of the continent. Over the past years, the port of Malmo in Sweden has stood out as a hub for the railroad transportation of millions of cars. with many advanced systems put in place for onward transmission once the cars reach the port. The reason why we have the location here in Malmö is, first of all, geographically, we can reach to many countries. Uh, we have the infrastructure which CMP could provide when we came here. So we have the trains, which we are using for train loading to different destinations. And we have uh, also the key walls, which we can see behind us, to, for us to be able to uh, have the vessels coming from Japan with the big volumes and the depth of the, week of, of the vessels which we have. Neighboring Norway also recently completed work on the Herg Trapper, or Autoliner, the world's largest pure car and truck carrier, or PCTC, with a capacity of 9,100 car equivalent units. It has extra-wide internal ramps, more than 14 total decks, and up to 21 feet of free deck height. The vessel is so large and spacious that it's been known to carry entire selections of monorail trains. When loading trains on the Herg Autoliner, temporary tracks are laid extending through the ramp into the vessel's cargo hold. At the end of the journey, special flatbed trucks fitted with the appropriate rail tracks drive into the cargo hold and carry the trains out. The channel vehicle trains also represent an excellent example of freight transportation across the ocean. Connecting England with mainland Europe through northern France, the 31-mile-long channel tunnel is a truly remarkable piece of engineering. Vehicles simply drive into specially constructed train cars, which then take them into the underwater tunnel and across the channel. According to the tunnel channel operator, Getlink, the amount of freight going through the tunnel in a year is enormous. Over 2.5 million cars, 1.6 million trucks, 51,000 buses, and more than 2,000 freight trains. Over the years, companies and countries have developed very innovative ways of moving vehicles across water, air, and land. This is truly a proof of how far technology has gone in bringing both heavy and delicate cargo to their owners and customers thousands of miles away. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.